Well, that's going on, everybody. It's Patrick Midtown Doors. Come back. Got a little tech tip for you, and we'll see you in a minute. Well, it's going on, everybody. It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. So we're going to be talking about cameras without mic inputs and something I do to them when I use them um, to kind of compensate for wind. So I pretty much rely on um, cameras with mic inputs. My Canon SL3 that I run all the time has a mic input on the side and then I can wear, for instance, like right now I'm wearing my lapel mic or I put a shotgun mic on top. What I'm using right here does not have mic inputs but has mics on top of the camera. So what I'm going to do is show you what I would run on this camera to knock down the wind without using the wind um, they call it uh, different. different things on different cameras, but it's basically electronically keeping out the wind of the microphone. I don't like that because what it has a lot of tendency to do is, is knock down the audio. So I prefer not to do that. Well, let me show you what I use on these things to make them not have to do that. And they work pretty well because my last point and shoot that I actually done a lot of shooting with, a lot of hiking with and stuff, I use these on there and I never had a problem with wind. Okay, so I got you on the workbench to show you this. This is a Sony uh, NX, yeah, NEX 5N. So unfortunately, these never came with mic inputs. Now you can buy a mic that goes into the cold shoe mount right here but it's only particular to Sony. It does not, you can't use any other kind of mic because they got this funky uh, plug here. With that said, so you can, you know, buy that thing and they say it doesn't really help much with the audio. So, it, you know, it helps, but it's not like what you really want. So that leaves you with the two mics on top and they are stereo microphones. I'll show you that right there. You'll see them right there as well on either side of where the hot shoe mount would be. Now you can purchase a thing to put a hot shoe mount in here and you can turn this into like a light mount or something like that. Or if you wanted to put external audio recorder on top, you could. Um, that's not going to be the purpose for this camera down the road. So what I'm going to do is put what I have been using for years are these little things. Basically you get little stickies and you put over them and put the little hair on top or as I call it the trump hair. Don't give me no hate. I've called it that ever since before he was president. So there. But then I've got this particular brand. If you'll see it's more of an oval. Now these um, will do better on this camera than they do on some of the others. Some of the others you'll need the more rounded, but this is you have such a tight area to work in. Um, I want to do the ovals on here and I'll show you how these lay out. Give me just one minute. I want to prep the area so that they stick really good. And um, oh, back in just a second. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using a little spray away. Uh, glass cleaner just to get any kind of oils there may be on top of it because I have been out messing with this camera today so just lightly wipe it across there um, matter of fact there's still there's something on there right there that needs to come off but anyway the, one of the things I like about these like I said they're oblong so they'll fit in the area a little bit better um, may have to move them to one side or the other now unless I plan on opening this door I would trim this up a little bit, but I'm not going to. But I also like these a little bit better, and I'll leave the link to the Amazon on these. These are a little denser than the ones I used to use, and I kind of like them a little bit better um, because of that. But um, 
these uh, these seem to work do the trick for me i have used these for uh, a number of cameras now um all right like i said you don't want to soak down the camera itself with this stuff just spray it on a paper towel wipe it down you use alcohol rubbing alcohol works just as well as anything okay so i didn't make you go through the agony of watching me stick these things on there is some agony but uh there they are there i've kind of lapped that one over so i don't know how well that's going to work but i was trying to keep it where i could still pop this open because i do have the flash for this camera uh and that's the way it attaches so i didn't want to um compromise being able to put the flash back on this put the flash on this camera if I ever wanted it um it's kind of cool out here in the headquarters today so i'm making sure these stick real good before i uh, peel these off and put the little furbies on there but uh let's see if we can't get one of them started and there it goes she's off and you take this thing you look for the oblong side and then you just stick it down over it like so and that's all it is to it i'll go ahead and we'll do the other side too but I've been using these on all my point and shoots for, God, for the last, I've been on YouTube for 12 years. So I've been using them for at least the last nine or so years. But then uh, you get them on there, you get them all, it actually worked out pretty good even on that curve right there. And now all i got to do to put the flash on is move it over to the side, pop that door open, and that flash should go right on there. And then once I'm done with the flash, take it off. Might have to work with it a little bit, get the door back down. But the chances of me using the flash are very slim to none. I hate using flashes on cameras. Um, it's just something I'm just not a big fan of having to do. Uh, I think artificial light throw down on a picture just looks crappy. So anyway, what I will do real quick is we will turn the camera back this on. This video with this camera. I appreciate you watching. If you got anything out of this, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give a thumbs up just to be nice. But uh, I appreciate you watching. Like I said, leave a link down below to these little dewies. And, um, well, we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared. <laughs>